read your fucking book. It scared the shit up, you know? It reminded me how genuinely romantic I was. How I had so much hope in things. And now it's like I don't believe in anything that relates to love anymore. In the way I put all of my romanticism in that one night, and I was never able to experience that again. I expressed things to you, and, and you took them with you. And I felt cold, like if the love wasn't for me. You know, reality and love. They are almost contradictory for me. That's funny. Every single of my ex are now married. Men go out with me, we break up, and then they got married. And then <laughs> later they call me to thank me for teaching them what love is. Or that I taught them how to care and respect women. I want to kill them. <laughs> Seriously, why wouldn't they ask me to marry them? I would say no. But at least they could have asked. But I know it's all, it's all my fault. It's all my fault because I never felt it was the right man. Never. But what does it mean, the right man? The concept is absurd. The idea that, that we can only be completed by another person is, is evil. Right? You know, I've been heartbroken too many times. And then I recovered. That's why, from the starters, I don't make any effort because I know it's not going to work out. I'm not going to work out. <laughs>